Alright, I wanted to make a little video uh, because I could not find this anywhere on the internet. For This is the 2010 F-150. Had to replace the heater core, uh, not the evaporator core, which everybody seems to replace uh, pretty frequently. But uh, the things that you cannot find, uh, I had to buy a book to, uh, to get this information. I did it pretty much based on a video on YouTube up to this point. But the things that it doesn't go into is how to remove this whole assembly here. Um, once you get the dash all out, um, which in retrospect is not a big of a deal as uh, it makes it out to seem in your head. Um, it's a few bolts, yeah, you, a few harnesses you gotta disconnect. Uh, but the thing that you, you need to disconnect to get this heater core out, obviously the, the AC lines, the heater core lines. But in addition to that, you've got three nuts you've gotta take out. Right here, one down there by the exhaust manifold, you just see a stud poking out. And then there's one in between the heater core hoses and the AC lines. So once you take those three out, and obviously the other connectors, uh, you don't have to mess with the fuse box. You don't have to take this off. You do have to remove some connectors to it. Um, but once you get to that point, uh, it just slides out once you disconnect the the, uh, the heater core line. So this quick disconnects our bitch. Um, I even bought a tool to try to disconnect them. Um, that did not work um, the way it was planned. Um, I have no idea where the tool's even at right now. I'll show it to you. Excuse my messy garage here. Oh, here it is. So, I bought a tool from Napa. It's basically just a, a long threaded rod, or it's threaded at the end uh, with a hook on the end. This is a 5 8 uh, little hook, and it came with a 3 quarter inch hook as well. Uh, neither one of them I could get to work uh, the way that they were designed. Uh, it just pretty much pulled on those quick disconnects uh, to the point where it almost broke them, so I stopped. Um, so yeah, when I got to that point, I decided I better stop before I did some damage. So I did um, and just kind of pinched it with my fingers and wiggled it out and it worked so hopefully this little video helps you guys if you're struggling with this uh heater core issue as well um like i said it, it would work the same with the evaporator core you'd have to go through the exact same steps to get it out but uh like i said the videos i saw on youtube just got to the point of removing the dash um they took shortcuts uh pretty much to replace the blender door um, and a few other things, but to get to those other things, you need to remove the, um, the whole assembly, the evaporator assembly and heater core assembly. You got to pull it away to be able to clear those lines to slide the heater core because it just comes straight up, but you have to pull it away from the, the firewall to get access to that. So hopefully this helps you guys. Um, let me know. Uh, a like or share, uh, subscribe if you want. There'll be other videos, uh, probably not pertaining to F-150s. Most of the videos that I've got on here will uh, be uh, either my Civic or my Forerunner working on them. The F-150s actually doesn't have a whole lot of problems so far, knock on wood. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully this helps you guys. Thanks.